hello guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel and uh, today i am going to show you the folder structure of the wordpress site so it needs to be understand the folder, st folder structure uh, before you starting the wordpress development so first let me open my local site just local host WP site and let me quickly go to the backend dashboard so there are two main key features of the WordPress one is the themes and another one is plugins so where these plugins and themes are in the WordPress so let me show you uh, the folder structure where the themes and plugins are there so this is my WP site folder and uh, these are the three folders which is uh, WP admin WP content and WP includes so where the themes and plugins are so it's in the WP content so in WP content there are these four uh, folders in which one is plugins another one is themes so all the plugins will go into this folder in the plugins so if you want to make a new plugin you can create a folder into plugins and you can start creating your own plugins and into themes all the themes will go over here if you want to build a new theme just create a folder into the themes and you can create your own theme so upgrade is currently empty by default it will be empty uploads so uh, in the uploads so from the site we can upload a new image so for example let's try to upload a new image so we have uploaded this image so it will go into uploads it will create if so by default uploads folder will be empty as soon as you create uh, upload a new folder uh, image it will create a new folder with current year and into that it will create a new folder with current month so this is july so it is it has created 07 and into this folder we have just uploaded this uh, image which will which you can see over there over here and including the original image we will have this two different uh, size of image as well so how this two different image size are there so into uh, appearance uh, sorry into settings media we have this image sizes so if you if you ever upload any image it will convert that image into thumbnail size and medium size as well as large size so it depends on the image size you uploaded if you upload uh, image size more than this then it will generate all the three type of images and we have uploaded uh, 400 by 400 so that's why it has created only medium size thumbnail uh, and thumbnail size thumbnail so this is the this is all about wp content another folder is wp admin so wp admin is responsible for the screen we are seeing in the admin section and wp includes is responsible for the function which can be used on backend as well as 
on front end. So what file we can uh, edit on the uh, while we are going to develop uh, WordPress. So this folder we will never touch because whenever the WordPress update updates are there WordPress is probably replacing all the files so this is the main thing we cannot edit any file of WP admin as well as WP includes and on the root we can't edit any file ex except for WP config so on the WP config we can change the configuration of the WordPress so when there is an update of WordPress WordPress doesn't replace this file so except for this WP config and uh, our custom plugins and themes WP replaces everything when there are updates also yeah so except for WP content and WP config whenever WordPress update is there they are replacing everything so whatever development we are going to do is in this folder only WP content and mainly these two uh, folders plugins and themes so WordPress development is all about creating plugins and themes that's it so I hope you understand how WP folders are there and how the structure is working for WordPress so this is the video guys thanks for watching uh, if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comments thank you